Brought to you by wikivd.com Kesha v. Dr. Luke Kesha v. Dr. Luke refers to what was a New York Supreme Court lawsuit in which music producer Dr. Luke sued singer Kesha and her mother, Pebby Siebert, for defamation and breach of contract. This was a result of Kesha filing a civil suit against Dr. Luke in October 2014 for infliction of emotional distress, gender-based hate crimes and employment discrimination. This New York lawsuit resulted in the staying of a California lawsuit where Kesha claimed Dr. Luke was guilty of sexual assault and battery, sexual harassment, gender violence, civil harassment, violation of California's unfair business laws, intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligent infliction of emotional distress, and negligent retention and supervision. In her New York counterclaim, Kesha alleges that Dr. Luke, sexually, physically, verbally and emotionally, abused her. Since the beginning of their professional relationship, the suit alleged he drugged and raped her on two occasions, made threats against Kesha and her family, and called her derogatory names. Dr. Luke has denied all of the allegations. In the legal documents filed in support of his defamation suit against Kesha, he claims that Kesha and her mother made defamatory statements in an attempt to extort Gottwald Dr. Luke into releasing Kesha from her exclusive recording agreement. On February 19, 2016, Kesha's request for a preliminary injunction was denied. Kesha appealed the decision the following month. On April 6, 2016, New York Judge Shirley Cornrich dismissed all of Kesha's counterclaims against producer Dr. Luke. Kesha and her legal team appealed the injunction decision, and on June 7, 2016, Kesha was recorded in a deposition stating all the allegations details. Lawsuit in October 2014, Kesha sued producer Dr. Luke for alleged sexual assault and battery, sexual harassment, gender violence, emotional abuse, and violation of California business practices which had occurred over 10 years working together. She claimed that Dr. Luke repeatedly drugged her, had sexual contact with her, with and without her consent, and that his abuse caused her eating disorder. Kesha asked the court to break her contract with Dr. Luke. In response, Drive, Luke filed a countersuit against Kesha for defamation, accusing her, her mother, and her management of fabricating the abuse claims to break her contract with him. In November, Drive, Luke asked the judge to dismiss Kesha's allegations of sexually abusing her. In early December, Drive, Luke filed a defamation lawsuit against Kesha's lawyer, Mark Giragos, accusing him of implications that Luke had raped Lady Gaga. Gaga's team denied any such incident. Later in December, Luke's lawyers amended the official complaint in the defamation lawsuit to introduce additional items, including a handwritten birthday card from Kesha back in 2009. Luke's attorney claimed the card is from several years after Kesha alleges he started abusing her. Other additions included several emails between Luke and Kesha's mother, where the latter wrote, To him, you are part of our family. Dr. Luke further accused Jack Rovner president of Vector Management, of long-standing antipathy towards him, alleging Rovner wants more money and control of Kesha's career. On February 18, 2015, during New York Fashion Week, Kesha wore a discount universe dress with the words, You will never own me, on the front of the garment, which at least one media source speculated to be an obvious jab at Dr. Luke amid Kesha's recovery. On June 9, 2015, it was reported that Kesha amended her complaint against Dr. Luke, 
and added a suit against Sony Music Entertainment, with Kesha's lawyer claiming, Dr. Luke's proclivity for abusive conduct was open and obvious. 2. Sony Music Entertainment executives, who either knew of the conduct and turned a blind eye, failed to investigate Dr. Luke's conduct, failed to take any corrective action, or actively concealed Dr. Luke's abuse. Kesha sought an injunction with Sony against working and releasing music with Dr. Luke and for greater artistic freedom. Kesha's lawyer, Mark Giragos, responded about the injunction saying, she cannot work with music producers, publishers, or record labels to release new music. With no new music to perform, Kesha cannot tour off the radio and stage and out of the spotlight. Kesha cannot sell merchandise, receive sponsorships, or get media attention. Her brand value has fallen. And unless the court issues this injunction, Kesha will suffer irreparable harm, plummeting her career past the point of no return. Without the injunction, her career could be effectively over. Since then, a new petition has been started by Austin Dean, in hopes of gaining awareness to Kesha's situation and support for her injunction. February 2016, judge denies preliminary injunction. On February 19, 2016, New York Supreme Court Justice Shirley Cornrich ruled against Kesha's request for a preliminary injunction that would release her from her contract with Kemo Sabe Records, a label owned by Luke Arst Gottwald, also known as Dr. Luke, under the umbrella of Sony Music Entertainment. The decision was made after the judge told her lawyer, Mark Giragos, that he was essentially asking the court to decimate a contract that was heavily negotiated and typical for the industry. Further, in 2011, Kesha went on record saying that Dr. Luke had never drugged or touched her during a deposition in a case against her former managers at DAS Communications, a key piece of evidence that led to a ruling in favor of the defense. According to the defense, Gottwald had already invested $60 million in her career and also offered to allow the singer to fulfill her contract and record without his involvement. The judge also cited what she felt was vagueness in Kesha's counterclaims, referring to the lack of documentation or hospital records supporting the alleged attack. The verdict sparked protests outside the courtroom by Kesha's supporters, and started the Re-Kesha movement online. Responding to the online campaign, Drive, Luke tweeted, I didn't rape Kesha and I have never had sex with her. Kesha and I were friends for many years, and she was like my little sister. He further added that the lawsuit was motivated by money. On February 24, 2016, Scott A. Adelman, an attorney representing Sony, stated, Sony is doing everything it can to support the artist in these circumstances but is legally unable to terminate the contract to which it is not a party. The reason being that KASZ Money, a company of Dr. Luke, signed the initial contract with Kesha in 2005. The company licensed the contract to various Sony Music subsidiaries such as RCA, Jive and Camo Sabe Records, but retained its ownership. On March 21, Kesha appealed the denial. Reports were made of an alleged offer made to Kesha after the ruling. Kesha made social media posts stating that she was offered freedom from the recording contract, with the condition that she retract the rape and drug allegations and publicly apologize for lying. According to posts Kesha made, she rejected the settlement and said the truth cannot be retracted. A spokesperson for Dr. Luke denies that a settlement was ever offered. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below.
please like and subscribe below.